It can't be that bad, oh, 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 it can't be that bad. Uh, yo, dude, so my mom made an Instagram, if you I didn't saw... notice. Did you follow her back? No. Why did she you follow, follow her back? What? She's not following me. She, I told her, I tried to explain to her the whole follower system. She was like, oh, like friends? And I was like, friends, like, but, you know. Less cordial. Kind of, uh, you could only be a friend halfway if you let someone follow you, but you don't follow them back. Uh, like, you can't seal the deal. And she didn't understand the concept. I mean, it's kind of hard to explain the concept of followers and following um, if you've only been familiar with Facebook friends. Hey, you know, someone's got to say it some way. Yeah, and that was me. And I tried to say it some way, and she's still very frustrated with Instagram. My father's been very interested in TikTok. Oh, like joining it? Well, just like, I don't know. He's asking a lot of questions about it. And I refuse to answer them on the off chance that he's asking uh, because he wants to join. Um, because I feel weird being uh-huh. on TikTok. Dude, let and him he, join TikTok. No. no, I would love to see your dad on TikTok. I don't think he'd make anything, though. You should have one of those accounts where it's about you kind of documenting silly stuff with your dad. You know how like a lot of TikTokers do that? I'd watch the hell out of that. I would. I But that's the thing is, like, I'd be making these videos and hating every second of them. No, every you know, frame. But it would sell from a, from the outside perspective looking in because objectively speaking. We can, we can speaking, maybe talk about, talk about this, this. We can talk about that off mic because that, maybe you have something there. Yeah. I mean, one last thing I do want to throw in is that objectively speaking, your dad from uh, a distance, he looks like such a serious man. But now that I've gone to know him a bit more. So silly. I, I love your father. And you guys making some TikTok videos, I think that would hit. But this is not an episode about fathers. Or make and not at all, actually. This is the quite the opposite. Opposite. <laughs> so let's stop talking about daddies. For the rest of our life. And let's start talking to the baddies. Yes, about them mommies. And we will start it off by saying, welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, welcome to another episode of ICBTB Podcast. Podcast, but not just any other episode. This is a special episode because it is our Mother's Mother's Day Day episode. Uh, And that's uh, something that we do once a year. Yes. uh, Every year. I think some people call it annually. Uh, Or annually that's disgusting no one calls annually a- ain't dude you're gross that's that's quite a stretch and i hate using the word stretch when we're talking about anuses you know what i hate the most about this what it's, our moms are definitely gonna oh, listen to this episode and this is how we're starting it so let's just start off with the first of many yes. sorry moms sorry mom um, but uh hopefully you guys you guys my mom and christian's mom yes and any other moms who are listening because everyone has a mom hopefully let's let's, let's do the thing okay this what's the is thing? for you moms yeah for all you mamas out there, this is for you. Uh, and I would like to take a minute and read a short poem that I wrote for all right. moms. All right. Let's hear it. <clears throat> okay. Moms. Thank you. That's it. That's all I got. Wow. Um, or you. shall I say. No claps, only snaps when poems are happening. Uh, we watched a movie today. Yep. Uh, at least I watched it today. And I watched it last night. Past midnight, which is technically today. That's how time works. We watched a film called Mother's Mother's Day. Day. Big surprise. And it's not a surprise to anybody if they watch or listen to our podcast because we have been doing a theme. Guys, if you've been following us since the beginning, first of all, thank you. And second of all, thank you. Thank Um, you. But we've also completed our first- Gary uh, Marshall trilogy. Yeah. And I would say like if we were in a PlayStation simulation, this is like our first metal- that we've earned. Yeah. Like secret Easter egg medal. Our first like, trophy. You guys just unlocked the Gary Marshall trophy. Which is so odd for a podcast, a movie podcast. People would think that would be tackling trilogies like One right uh, after Star another. Wars or Lord of the Rings. No. But no, 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 no. No, no, no. We are watching all three of Gary Marshall's holiday-based romantic comedies. Yes. And I would like to... S- I would have hoped to have said that he ended it with a bang, but I think he was kind of given up here. I will say right off the bat, because we were saying how this seems like he was petering out near the end. Yeah. He did not write this one. Oh, he didn't. Just his story, but he did not He did not write 
the screenplay or the or he did not get the writing credit. He was just the director. But he usually writes. I believe he movies. did so on Valentine's Day and New Year's Eve. So guys, this is the the three of three. New Year's Eve, Valentine's Day, and Mother's Day. Yes. Uh, those are the three that we watch. And then after this, you don't ever have to hear us utter Gary Marshall's name ever again. Unless we do like Princess Bride 2. Or unless we do My Best Friend's Wedding. Is that Gary Marshall? Or maybe Runaway Bride? Pretty Woman for Gary sure. Marshall. Okay, one of them. Pretty that has woman something to do with the wedding. It's lowly rated though. That's an it's Academy Award winning movie. film. That apparently the original cut is very dark. Oh, Oh, you've talked about yeah. this before. I mean, because the concept <laughs> because Gary, itself. About two times before. Yeah. I won't get into it because I don't want to bore the OG baddies, but I do want to entice the new baddies. Yeah. So if it pleases the court, I'd like to bring the itty bitty nitty gritty. All right. And it does please the court. Here is the nitty gritty. Itty bitty nitty report coming in here. Itty bitty nitty report. Don't make up your own theme song. I was just trying new things. You know, it's a new year. New was me. that like the intro theme that you hear like uh, for breaking news? Yeah. Yeah, oh. it was. I see you got I it. I thought that you was the, the Mortal Kombat intro. But that's enough because you're making me feel bad now. <laughs> This movie is called Mother's Day. It was released in the year 2016. Did you almost forget it? I almost thought the number was 2016. Uh, it's rated PG-13 and has a runtime of one hour, 58 minutes, or 118 minutes. And to be 100% honest, I thought this film ended about six times. <laughs> so many endings. There were so, so many, many endings. endings. It's but, like- but you know what it is, is they had to wrap up all of the storylines usually though what gary marshall likes to do is have them all meet in like one central place whether it be like Times square in new york or uh like a valentine's day night where Mm -hmm. everybody's like kind of culminating in one one big event or something like that yeah uh but not 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 in this one where did this this take place everybody this one took place in atlanta okay and that's right everyone in this one just kind of like solved their own problems on their own. <laughs> Which is nice, because usually in Gary Marshall the, films, it's so like... like, so-and-so, that's so-and-so's uncle. And, and that uncle, uncle, gay. And it's like, what? wow, that's a hat on a hat if I've ever seen it. That's crazy. That is, that is what it. That is what it is. Really some far stretches when it comes to Gary Marshall films. This one didn't have the furthest of stretches. Almost like just gaps. You just yeah. have to make the jumps in this Yeah, one. and not nearly as many characters as uh, most Gary Marshall films. Very few. Very few. I will say there were four main characters, mm-hmm. and we'll get to the cast list in a second, but I got a question for you. What's up? Of the four main characters, women, surprising because it's Mother's Day, Okay. only one of them is right-handed. Can you guess <laughs> really? which one it is? All right, let me list out the women first. I, I will. I will. I have them here for Such you. Such a weird, trivial question that well, you got from me here. But you know what though? It, it is very on brand because uh, it can't be that weird. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> so the uh, top three women, uh, and I'll, I'll say the fourth because I guess she's the top fourth woman: Jennifer Aniston, Kate okay. Hudson, Julia Roberts, and I guess Sarah Clark would be the fourth to round out that four. Oh, Sarah Chalk. I say. Clark. <laughs> no, the two but different words. Of the four leading women. Yeah. Who's I right-handed? think the right-handed individual, well, Julia Roberts seems like uh, someone that would bitch slap you with the back of her left hand. So she's left-handed in my book. Um, Jennifer Aniston, I think she's a, a top contender for being right-handed. Uh, Sarah Chalk, also contender for being right-handed. Uh, Kate Hudson, for show sure left-handed. You can just see it. Uh, see it in her eyes i'm gonna go with jennifer aniston she is right-handed correct wow i did not that was just really uh that was a guess is weird but also my reasoning might be weird i've definitely heard that julie roberts is a lefty i don't know i don't know it's just being a trivia head and going to like quiz nights and things like that Uh uh-huh i know julie roberts is a lefty that one i don't know how i know it it's just one of the things that i know why is it such a big deal, though, when someone's left-handed? It means they pray to Satan. I know that meaning, but like, let, let's let's take religion out of it. I think it's just statistically, it's very rare. It's an anomaly uh, in the most common form. If is that it a makes nature sense. nurture type thing? No, like, it, no, it's a left brain right brain thing. Oh, and I have no research to back. How about that for up. the people that are ambidextrous? Because that blows my mind. I think I I. 
pretty sure it's a left brain, right brain thing. I think it's just being able to train the one of the most complex muscles in the human body, mm-hmm. the brain, to understanding different portions and understanding different ways to make the nervous system react. Uh, because I don't think naturally we're supposed to be writing because no other creature on earth has a uses tools like that. Well, not just uses tools, but has a written language. Uh-huh. Other creatures may communicate. And this is a weird, weird side tangent. tangent. has nothing to do with but mamas. Other animals may have a form of communication, i.e. dolphins, mm-hmm. monkeys, yes. uh, and, and ants, but none of them have a written language. So I think um, at its core, it's an unnatural thing for us to do. To make it even more natural would be to do it with the other hand, and then to do it more natural would be able to do it with both hands. And I think something I've read up on, correct me if I'm wrong, and we won't stay on this tangent for too long, <laughs> but if you are right-handed, that means that your left part of your brain is uh, dominant. dominant and vice versa. If you're left-handed, the right part of your brain is dominant. I don't know if that's true or not, but I will say a lot of the knowledge that we have about how the brain works came from Nazis during World War II. In Mother's Day, don't uh, want to go there. 5.7 out of 10 on IMDb. It has a whopping... Eight percent on Rotten Tomatoes, whopping, and an eighteen percent on Metacritic. By far the lowest of the three Gary Marshalls. Makes sense. Uh, usually the makes sense. Well, the third in the trilogy of Star Wars, original Star Wars, and the new trilogy, not the newest, uh huh, prequels and original. The third one might be the best. I think Return of the Jedi, Revenge of the Sith. Are the best. But this is cut from such a different cloth that it, it, it wouldn't follow that same path of like, oh, it's going to get better and better and better. We went from New Year's Eve to Valentine's I Day. I think Valentine's Day is better than New Year's Day, New Year's Eve. Yes, I agree. Valentine's Day was my favorite of the three. Yeah, New Year's Eve was... <laughs> yeah. You were throwing up gang signs over there, buddy? Yep, I gesture a lot. Uh, gesture to this bitch. Would you like to guess what, what the fuck? I don't Why know. are you so rude? I have no idea. To the nitty gritty, Sometimes man. Sometimes it just comes out that way, bro. <laughs> okay, I'll guess the Google users. Uh, 74%. 81%. Ugh. Really? Yes. Okay. Synapsis coming at you. Right at you. Sandy, played by Jennifer Aniston, is a stressed out single mother who learns that her ex-husband is marrying a younger woman. What? Whoa. Her friend, Jesse played by Kate Hudson, is a fitness freak who doesn't tell her parents that she's uh, she has a family. Bradley is a widower, played by Jason Sudeikis, who's trying to raise two daughters on his own, while Miranda, played by Julia Roberts, is too busy with her career to worry about having children. When their respective problems start coming to a head, the Mother's Day holiday takes on a special meeting when they all see it differently. Sounds like a Gary Marshall film to me. Yeah, it definitely is. <laughs> Could he have used a different holiday, though? What just happened there? (laughs) Could he have used a different holiday? I agree. Mother's Day was such a random holiday. It doesn't even fit with the theme of, like, New Year's, Valentine's. Like, those are all very... Romantic holiday. Yeah. Yeah. And Mother's Day is a, more of a platonic holiday, obviously. Can be. But wasn't... is Would this, like, do... <laughs> Should be. Do you think that... Um, a slippery slope would have occurred, like, oh, if uh, Mother's Day happened, why don't they do Father's Day type of thing? That's actually a fucked up point to bring up, and that sounds like you're a chauvinist pig. I would like what? to talk about the budget. No, of this I'm not film. saying that I was siding with it. I'm just saying that this probably that is, started a slippery would, okay. slope with those chauvinistic fucks. I would like to say what? Um, I get what you're saying. Yeah. Because that makes sense. That that. I could see how how people ask that question, but you don't want to be the guy who's like, if they make a Mother's Day, bro, why don't they make a Father's Day, bro? Yeah, because that's I mean, how I imagine that question being asked. Right? I know. That has, I'm, th- no, I'm not saying that that's you, but I imagine that 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 the people who you're talking about ask the question ask that, like for sure, and they sound like that. Have you ever accidentally fallen into that category of people where you're like asked the question and then you hear it, and, or maybe it's just me because I'm an asshole? No, mm, but actually. I've, but I've been in the position where I like say something. I'm like, I or, or I don't say something because I know how it's gonna sound, and I'm just like, I just gotta. Just you gotta filter do it. yourself out. I just, just keep it to myself. But I've seen you a little too late in terms of that type of thinking. Yeah, where you've learned, said I've it. I've gotten a lot better. Like for example, uh, I used to work in a place um, that had uh, a lot of people 
who, who were gay and it's not a big deal i don't give a shit they didn't give a shit it's just what, what it was uh, and so on uh gay history one month gay pride i don't even know what it's called gay pride i thought it was a day i honestly thought it was just a day maybe a weekend in san francisco but apparently it's a month not trying to be a dick mm-hmm. but apparently it's a month and we decked out oh you thought it was just the pride parade that happens in san francisco I thought it was just a day i thought you know i thought nah, dude it's a maybe full it's month a week. maybe it's a week maybe it's like mardi gras no it's a month i learned that i guess the hard way um, because we decked out the studio in rainbow everything. I also didn't know that there were different flags for different types of, of homosexuality. It just blows my mind. Anyways, not in a bad way. Just didn't know. Just didn't know. Yeah. I mean. So I'm sitting here in a room full of rainbow stuff. And I'm and at the time, I think I was one of three uh, just like solidly straight people in the, in the studio of a staff of maybe like 11 or 12. And um I don't know. I just didn't want to be the guy who's like, hey, guys, can we tone down the gay stuff? Because it was a weird position. Because to be already in. that sentence sounds alone, fucked up. it sounds really fucked up. But here's my thing. I would have felt that way about any holiday. If we uh-huh. would have gone that far for St. Patrick's Day with like that amount of shamrocks and green and little leprechauns, I would have said this, the same like, thing. Hey, it's just can like, we tone down hey, the green? Can we just tone down? like the, we are, Why are we going so far out for Why is everyone holiday? pinching each other? Super deep into this holiday. Uh, but I didn't. I bit my tongue because I didn't know how to bring that up without sounding like the worst. But especially because at the same time that that was coming up and I was like, we don't have like a straight parade. There were those guys having a straight parade in like Atlanta and New York and being like, oh, I Definitely can't be on those guys' no, sides. Like, no, that, no, that's no. That's the worst position Because to the take. straight man has received so much already. Just take it, bro. Yeah. Like, just... That, take, that's really, take the that's hit. That's really what it was. I was just, it's not even a hit. I didn't even want to take it that way because it's not... Honestly, it's just like, you know what? Hey. No, I see I see where you're <laughs> let, coming from. I, in, in, the, in the worst way to phrase it, let them have their month. Yeah. <laughs> in the worst way to phrase... <laughs> there is, are worse ways to phrase is, it. Oh, yeah, definitely. But in my brain... Yeah, no, I'm glad you bit your tongue because it, it makes it a little more awkward when it's a when it's a, a social group or a culture uh, that you're tackling. For sure. Yeah, but Mother's Day. Mother's Day is something else that we should we we should to be bring celebrating. It back around. We did not celebrate. We didn't have Mother's Day uh, banners and flags for for the month. Just a picture of a bunch of random moms. Not even. I think we. <laughs> I think we. I, I don't even know if we did anything for Mother's Day. To be honest with you, what are you gonna do for Mother's Day this year? Um, well, I am going to celebrate with my mother. Okay, that is a big surprise. <laughs> my mom's birthday is right before Mother's Day. That's right, so it's a double whammy for Yeah, her. so she's getting quite a bit going on for her, and uh-huh. so uh, this is going to come out next week? Yeah, this is going to come out maybe like two days after, after Mother's, Mother's Day. Day. Um, so we have quite a surprise plan for her for her birthday. Okay. Uh, and so I've been, we've been kind of, that's kind of been where the uh, bulk of my mindset has been so hopefully her birthday goes off well and then i can kind of cheat on the mother's day no i think you should just go all out on both days man well it's too late for that because i'm already going all out for the birthday and i can't do both go all out on both man you can do both i believe just in you wait until you, you could be a good son dude. just wait until we fuck you what yeah. i just said you could be a good son not in, that you're not a good son. Yeah, well, that question insinuates that I'm not a good son. No, you're reading my tone wrong. I'm, I'm you're looking, a good I'm son. listening to the- I think you're a good son. Now you're hating my tone because now I'm just trying to. Here's what I'm saying. What? I think when you see what, what we have planned for her birthday, you will see why. Am what, I invited? N- n- no, it's fucking quarantine, dummy. Yeah, um, I'm kidding. That was a you, test question. You, see, <laughs> you pass. I work with the CDC. Um, when you see what we'll be, what we're doing for her birthday, you will understand why that has taken quite a bit of a little of planning. Okay. Well, I'm excited. Don't be. Mother's Day was. Uh, it had a budget, Christian. What's the budget? Got it right here. Damn, we're deep into this episode and we haven't even gotten through the nitty gritty. The it's a Mother's Day. We can do this our own fucking what a, You know, fuck it. It's our show. $25 million. Okay. It made $48 million. Am I on the... <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah. Okay, that's because I looked at it last night on accident, but I thought I forgot. $48.4 million. <laughs> oh, Wow. <laughs> I, I shouldn't have told you, but yeah. it was way too specific of a number for me to have like I was re- slid I, by. I'm trying to calm myself down actually because I got really excited when you hit it. On you the get head. very excited when I guess these numbers correctly because I I am your biggest fan uh, mm. as your life partner. Stop calling yourself my life partner. It confuses a lot of people. You know, 
life partner has a completely def- different definition nowadays. Actually, I, I think I the, stand t- by it. the term life partner has had the same definition and I stand by for it. generations. We are connected as partners for life. I mean, when you break it down like that, I get I like that. As long as it's platonic, dude. We're not out here kissing. <laughs> I don't I don't know anywhere where the term life partner insinuates kissing or a sexual relationship. No, it's possible in terms of marriage or I don't think the guys girlfriend. in the odd couple Felix and Oscar were uh were gay. They're 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 life partners. Did they call each other life partners? I do. See, and that's your your own definition of it. Hey, but I'll take it as long as you just don't kiss me, buddy. I will not agree to that, but I will say Mother's Day. What's up? Is a bonkers film. Yes, I have to agree. Let's let's break it down now. Let's finally break it down for the baddies and for the mommies out there. The, so, the bombies. The bombies. Don't the bonmies. <laughs> Are you familiar with or the, the Vietnamese sandwiches? Or the Bond enemies. Bombies. <laughs> the enemies of James Bond. <laughs> bombies. Bombies. <laughs> oh. oh gosh. I don't know how we have people who listen to this show. I think that we think of things that they'll never all, think of. I would like to say something right now to those people who are listening to us. Say how it. fucking beautiful you are. You guys and are smart gorgeous. And just incredibly kind. You are just the kindest person. And uh, you guys are so so nice. You guys are the type of people that will help old ladies cross the street when they I have no one else. I, I don't want to assume what they do, but I assume what they're doing is the nicest. Uh, but Mother's Day. Yes, Mother's Day. This movie's crazy. Let's start talking about it. Let's. Why don't you start talking about it? it sounds good. The first set of people in this movie I want to talk about is Kate Hudson and her sister, Sarah Chalk. Mm-hmm. Both of them being mothers. Sarah Clark. No, it's Chalk, dude. <laughs> I looked at the name multiple times. So you Google know her yesterday. by what show? Scrubs. And I know her by what show? How I Met Your Mother. And what character does she play in Scrubs? Uh, the uh, the main female. <laughs> I've never watched Scrubs. I just know that that's what she's. And on. what is she? What's her character's name in How I Met Your Mother? Uh, Stella. And what's her character's name in Rick and Morty? Um, mom. What What is her name? And what's uh the mom's name in Rick and Morty? What is the mom's name in Rick and it's Morty? It's Jerry and Beth. Beth. It is Beth. Oh, I got Beth right there. A pop figure. Um. Nice. So, yes, that's uh, how I know her. That's how you know her. Um, they are in this movie, both mothers, but I guess unorthodox uh, in the sense they're that- They're sisters. They're sisters, Yeah, yes. they're not moms together uh, because it's, this may be confusing to fans of the film. Yep. Let's assume we have fans here uh, because uh, Sarah Chalk is actually in a domestic relationship, a.k.a. a lesbian relationship with her partner. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think they may even say the term life partner mm-hmm. um, because it's a very broad term, Christian. Yeah, they I are married. They do multi- call each other each I, other's wife. I think multiple people in multiple groups in multiple types of relationships can call their partner a life partner. Hey, stop trying to prove a point here through this movie, okay, dude. Okay, fair point. Yeah, we could be but, best friends for life, but when you say life partner, especially in the tone that you say it, when you I'm say that to a stranger. Because you know, you say all the time that your best friend's fucking Alan or Greg or something like that. Dude, you or could have brother multiple... What no, do you want no. from me, dude? I want to have a solid title that no one else has. I don't want to be a best friend you of other people. You want a medal? I don't... Do you want a trophy? You want a belt, dude? Here's what I want, and we'll get back to Mother's Day in just a second. What's up? I've been harboring these feelings for months. For if months? You have more than one best friend, I don't want the title of best friend. I want a title you that you don't have. You have more than one Let best me friend? Finish. No, but I, no, I don't. You are my only best friend. No, you have. And here's the thing. You've expressed I, to me. If I have, if I want, I want a title from you, bitch. And the thing is, I want a title that nobody else has. So I want my title to be life, life partner. partner. That is asking for so much, dude. I don't think so. I'm not going to introduce you to other people that we've just met for the first time. Say, hey, this is all a honk. We have, have a to. podcast together. He's I my will. life partner. No, but I'm going to rebuttal as I usually do and be like, uh, I not necessarily life partner because they're going to take it the wrong way. I think you're taking it the wrong way. It's weird that you're getting very defensive of like, no, 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 please don't think that. Please don't think that. Because it's almost like you'd be ashamed if you were gay. Because no, it's not I'm a shameful not, thing. Don't make this into that kind of argument. I just think, Christian, there are worse things than being in a romantic relationship with me. Yeah, but also it's not true. I'm not in a romantic relationship with and you. I'm, I'm just trying to put out are. facts. I'm just saying we're partners for life. You know what? Let's just get on with this podcast. We'll talk about this off mic, but that ain't true. We're not? No. God. What, what's not true? We're not partners for life? The de- the term life partners. Are we not partners, partners for life? We are, we are best because friends we for life. we took a blood oath last night, 
and I didn't see you wincing Can't you just whimpering? say we're best friends when no, we see people? Because this I is my best friend. a title that's specific. I see you more than I see almost everyone else. Oh. Ah, yeah. Almost like a life partner. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Get, let's go on with this movie. We barely talked about it, but it's the Mother's Day special. For, so this is for the mommies, and this is not about us. You're right, you're right. Let's do it for the bombies. Yeah, for the bonnemies. Um, so this movie is about mothers. <laughs> yeah, and why don't you say your favorite memory of your mother? I've completely forgotten everything about this movie. I don't give a fuck, bro. This is, this so is not actually real. about the movie Mother's Day. This is about the holiday Mother's Day. Because <laughs> let's face it, baddies. This isn't coming out on the actual day. probably don't like this movie. Nobody's actually seen this movie. We know that because Gary Marshall sunk $50 million into watching it. Yes. And I, I know... I don't know. You've probably heard of the movie, and I know we're a podcast where we're supposed to defend the movie, but really, we just chose this movie so we could talk about our moms. mothers. Um, what What's was your, your mom's question? name? Rosemarie. You could follow her on Instagram, <laughs> Rosemary Baltazar Seven. <laughs> she might uh, not follow you back, but I can guarantee dog pictures. Let's hear her social security number. One one one. One. She has the original social uh, security. She was in the first set. <laughs> Of Americans to receive social security. What is it like to be social security number zero 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 one? Is that the very first is person? Is that Uncle Sam? Probably, Does Uncle Sam dude. have social security number zero 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 zero? I'm assuming so. I mean, Uncle Sam is just a fictitious character that what? is an embodiment of America put into one person that kind of looks like a different version of Abe Lincoln. But. Hmm. Right? That's yeah, what he is. Totally. He's basically Abe Lincoln with a, with a white beard and a, an American garb and just pointing at you. It ain't Uncle Sam Day. No, it's Mother's Day. Best, uh, best memory with your mom. My mom. <laughs> we may have to cut that story out. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll tell a different story. One of my favorite memories with my mom <laughs> was when uh, she came down to visit me in Irvine when I broke my collarbone and I told her not to come. I told her don't come and she made me come or she came and then made me come home and I never left the house since then. And I can't escape this house. The only escape route of this home is to get somebody pregnant and then you have to marry that woman. We definitely have to cut this out. What just happened? I don't know, but I got very hot right there. And I'm sweating. I'm not, we're gonna, I, I can't think. We're gonna, okay, let me tell a real... Did you just want me to pause this? No, I want to tell a third story that we're going to keep in. We just cut out two stories. Make a note. We just cut out two stories that I don't want in here about my mother. But here's the story that we were going to keep in about my mother. Here's my favorite memory about my mother. The day I was born is the best memory I have. Because she That's gave the life best to me. Memory? She gave life to me. The greatest being on earth. She gave birth to me, and you all fucking losers are welcome. Dude, you're sweating so much. So Your hot. upper lip is so moist. Right now. Your upper lip what is, is happening. Wet. I can feel cold air on this side, hot air from this side. Because the AC is actually kind of going. The, 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 the alcohol and the caffeine in my body right now are acting weirdly. Did you drink the coffee already? No, but I had, oh, a, bang. You had a bang. I had a bang earlier. without telling you. Oh. And I got you a coffee? So my favorite story about my mother. Am I keeping all three of those stories in? <laughs> We're cutting them all out. <laughs> Everything We're out? We're cutting them all out. We have plenty. The episode's long enough. All right. Ask me what uh, what my favorite mem- do if I have a favorite memory with my mom. Why don't we talk about your favorite member with your mom? I have a lot of... <laughs> I'm fucking dizzy. I'm fucking Dude, dizzy. It's just kind of weird. You know I, You know why we think this is weird? Why this is super because weird we right now? Because we know they're listening? Because we know our moms are going to listen to this. And so, like, we're kind of inorganic. Where we're like, oh, now we got to come up with a great story <laughs> for our mom. Let's take it the other way. Christian, what? tell me your worst memory with your mom. Every day of my life. <laughs> one time I snuck out and went to a party and she showed up at the party. Wait, legit? <laughs> yeah. Your mom was at a party? She came to pick me up. It was bad. Oh, she knew. She caught you sneaking out. How did she know exactly where you were going? I don't want to go, dude. I don't want to talk about it. What? Did you like leave evidence? Did no, you leave a note No, behind? but I will say it's Matt's fault 100% that I got caught. Oh, your brother. Yeah, fucking That idiot. makes sense. What's your worst memory with your mom? 
dude, just fights. We just bicker a lot over Tell the smallest things. Tell me the worst things. fight. No. No. <laughs> it's like shit, like when I was a teenager and she would she get mad at me. me. Bring the dirty plates from my room to the fucking dishwasher. <laughs> What, what a terrible what, lady! What that was your biggest complaint about John. Like, you know what? My mom does the worst fucking shit. She asked me to open the window of my room because it smells bad in there. She's in there cleaning and then has the audacity to tell me that it smells bad in there. I was trying to just tell her those are pheromones, mom, because I'm a man. Are, those are my happy smells. <laughs> those are my. You, you should be proud of me that I'm up. making smells like that, mom. Mom, I'm tired of your Yankee Doodle candles. All up in my business. <laughs> Yankee Doodle candles. Are they Yankee candles or Yankee Doodle? Yankee. I don't know, but calling them Yankee Doodle candles <laughs> sounds like you're making fun of them, but I, it might be what they're actually called. Right? You get them from Hallmark. <laughs> Yankee. Hi, can I have a uh, hi? You asked. Them Excuse for... me, Hallmark worker. Can <laughs> I get a Yankee Doodle candle? Excuse that me, sounds Mr. right. Mr. Hallmark. Mr. I, I Mr. Assume... CEO of Hallmark. <laughs> I assume every company. Is founded by the person with that name. Excuse me, Burger King? <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Weight Watcher. Excuse me, Ronald McDonald? Real person. Real person, actually. Bad example. <laughs> Colonel Sanders. <laughs> Excuse me, Colonel Sanders. What's your worst memory of Mother's Excuse Day? Excuse me. Tell me about the worst Mother's Day you've ever had. Long John Silver. Um, <laughs> are you still telling me about the worst? I don't, I don't know. Mother's Day is usually pretty chill. For us, because we're not moms. I think, I do want to say, giving birth seems... Seems like the worst thing ever. I want to say that too. <laughs> I'm not going to be I, on I, the I end of the spectrum. I'm like said to w multiple women. I don't know how they give birth. You don't want to be the guy that says mm, not that bad. <laughs> you know? Or the guy who's like, actually, if you look at it, getting kicked in the balls is more painful than giving birth. Fuck you. That's the same guy who's like, there's actually more Irish people in slavery than black people in America. And it's like, no, no, no. <laughs> that's not the argument you're supposed to be making. I here. hate people like that. Those I are the hate... worst kind of. You ever those people uh, meeting them? legitimately blows my mind like the woman i met who made an argument against black history month it's almost like i didn't realize there were actually people out there that had that kind of stupidity instilled within them christian yeah. what's up do you have a best person on side dude we didn't even talk about this movie <laughs> it's fine this podcast is about the holiday you should have told Mother's me Day. let's not watch the movie why we have to base it a little bit about a movie what? A little bit? Then I could have just read the synopsis. That's lying to the audience. But You dude, want to lie to the baddies? This, you want to lie to the baddies? What? I do not want to lie to them. I'll then be straight up. who's your best person on set award? My best person on set award is going to go to... Julia Roberts. It's going to go to Jason Sudeikis. Can I say something about the movie real quick? What? Julia Roberts is constantly selling something on the Home Shopping Network. Jewelry. Specifically, jewelry, uh, mood jewelry that changes colors the the pendant changes That's colors right. with your mood but multiple times kate hudson's mother's mood changes in the scene and the jewel does not change color and i think she broke it because she's so emotionally unstable Because like there's times when she finds out yeah you're right we didn't get into any of this there's times when kate hudson's mother finds out that kate hudson's dating a, a an indian man and that's like the worst thing ever apparently we're and, finally talking about the movie she flips <laughs> out and that pendant doesn't turn to angry it stays blue happy um my best person on set award is kate hudson and why is that she is just elaborate. She is one, not just being a great actress and knowing all of her lines, mm -hmm. but she's also showcasing her fashion line, mm -hmm. her active wear, Fabletics, and she's holding her own against the one and only Jennifer Aniston. Is her fashion wear called Fabletics or yes. Fapletics? Because <laughs> knowing you, you could have just swapped that in real easily. Fabletics. Fabletics. No. You're disgusting, bro. You're the one. No, honestly. See, my mom listens to this, You're trying to say dude. that I'm the disgusting one, but that's all you who have turned a beautiful, smart, vibrant CEO of a company's product into a gross This is the real reason joke. why you chose Kate Hudson. Why? She's blonde and you love blondes. I, uh, I got to. <laughs> <laughs> that is neither here nor there. And I, I, I think you're being, I think... I'm done with this episode. Yo, I'm, dude, tell nope. me your favorite memory of your mom right now. Uh, 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 when she introduced me to Kate Hudson as an actress and said, this son is a beautiful woman. You've met Kate Hudson? As an actress. What does that mean? She introduced me to her works. 
Oh, oh man. Oh, that's your favorite memory of your mom? No, I uh, should have probably thought about that question before we did this episode. Dude, we should have thought of better Mother's Day or you know mom what? stories. Let's be 100% honest here, guys. We've never planned anything for this show. No, we usually come here. We kind of say, all right, you ready to talk about this? Nope. Like, nope. We're really just banking on the fact that we could probably have an organic back and forth and make something funny out of something that potentially is not. This, I, I think this episode is funny. I think it's funny. I'm, Weird that I'm we're talking a, shop on air, too. It's usually, we usually do this off mic. We do it off mic, but sometimes baddies want to hear it. Listen, Marjani, who likes to hear how we do it. Listen, Juliet, who's been on this show and I think listens a little bit. Listen, Chris, you beautiful, smart, talented man. With a jizzled, jizzled, <laughs> jizzled, <laughs> jizzled jawline is what I was trying you to wanna... say. And it came off as jizzle. That was a Freudian no slip. No should ever that was say. was a Freudian slip. <laughs> Gross, oh, dude. That sounds like that's what. What? Hey, man, I heard Christian <laughs> jizzled on your chin and Chris is like, yeah. I don't know why. I was just blowing him, and he just jizzled off my chin. Dude, we have ruined what? the Mother's Day episode. What if the word jizz, as bad as it is already, was broken down into jizzle? What'd you do? Oh, I shizzle did. my jizzle. So, so I'm with, I'm with Agnes last night, Agnes. and I'm going hard, and I just pulled out and jizzled on her back, and she was like, did you just jizzle on me? And I'm like, yeah. We high-fived, I slapped her on the butt, and she said, $20 on the counter. I took my money and left. Yo, dude, how come whenever we do an improv scene, all of the girl names you come up with are old lady names? I, I Agnes, disagree. Mildred. I've never said Mildred. Margaret. Maybe You've Margaret. said Margaret before. Maybe. Fine. Me and Chet. Is that better? As in the Chet Baker? Chet is an old man's name. <laughs> You're choosing names from the 1950s. Fine. Me and Rob Blagojevich. <laughs> so specific. Such a weird Such 2001 a weird, joke. Weird joke. Oh, guys, that's for all of our New Yorkers who lived in the five boroughs in 2003 to 2004. Man. Anyone else got a Rob Lagojevich joke, send them my way. Have we talked about this movie? Not at all, but Not you know at what? All. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. If you even listen this far. I don't even think my mom will listen to this. <sighs> I, yeah. I might tell my mom not to listen to this. Don't. I did that with Girl Next Door. That just makes them want to listen to Reverse the episode. Reverse psychology. So she listened to it? I don't know, but here's the thing. If she did, that's her own fault. <laughs> you brought this upon yourself, Alex's mom. I'd like to Alex's apologize mom. to your mom. I would like to, you to only a friend of my mom is Alex's mom from now on. Hey, hey, Mrs. Alex's mom. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, hey, you can follow me at Instagram. At you can follow me at Instagram. You can follow me on Instagram. I'm sorry. This is toward the end of the episode. I'm completely unfiltered at this. You're point. getting loopy, bro. Do you need a nap? No, I'll hold you. No, I've had two coffees already. I need the opposite of a nap. Like you need to just shiver. <laughs> I just need to shake my body at Get such a fast energy. rate that I'm exhausted. I, uh, I'm i going to make him go through one more tangent. It's weird <clears throat> that they ran out of things to give the Flash. So at one point, they're just like, how about he just vibrates really fast? And then for like a whole season, the Flash was just like, I'm the vibrating man. My favorite person on said award. Um, you said it already, right? My handle on Instagram is call underscore me Jesus. And my handle on Instagram is... Christian has asthma. And you can follow us on Instagram at ICBTB Podcast, or you can send us an email or just look at our website because our buddy Rob spent a lot of time on it. Check it out. Uh, ICBTB.com uh, or it can't be that bad.com. You got plenty of time. We're still in quarantine, so type the whole thing out. Bitch. We forgot to rate the movie. Even though we didn't talk about the movie, I still want to rate it. I give it a two out of five. That's bonkers, bad way. That's a good. That's a good rating. That's a good rating. I agree. That makes sense, right? I agree. Bonkers, bad way. Bad. Bonkers. It's not the worst. No, for sure. It's definitely not Mortal Kombat two. But it's. It's definitely not New Year's Eve. Definitely. Let's not. rate the three Gary Marshall trilogy real quick. Okay. In my brain, Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, New Year's Eve. Okay. My exactly. Wait, no, 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 no. That in order of yes. like best, best to worst. worst. Oh, you think Mother's Day's right smack dab in the middle? Correct. Uh, no, mine is uh, Valentine's Day, New Year's Eve, and then Mother's Day. 
Yeah. I wish there was at least one character that went through all of it because it seemed like Ashton Kutcher was the through line between Valentine's Day and New Year's Eve. And then it seems like there was almost a through line between Julia Roberts in Valentine's Day and Mother's Day. Um, but they didn't. If this took place all in the same universe, yeah, and there was like a through and through character, that would have been pretty dope. Usually we like to recast. The- Here's another reason why we didn't talk about the film. Usually we like to recast a film in modern day. Honestly, all of these actors could do this film today. The only problem is, rest in peace, Gary Marshall. Hey, guys, have a great Mother's Day. Have a great Mother's Day. Happy, uh, happy Mother's Day, Mom. I love you. Uh, love you, Mom. I love uh, you, Christian's mom. I'll, I'll, uh, love you, Alex's mom. Uh, and for the moms out there that are offended that we didn't actually review Mother's Day, I sorry. don't know if there are any moms. <laughs> That's possible. There's a few. Bye. Bye. Bad.